Okay, so what we're gonna review first is once you have the tool open, you wanna basically make sure you're setting yourself up for success on the day. And what I mean by that is go to your projects view down here at the bottom. I'll show you how I got there. Go to your projects view right down here, projects. And then to go ahead and open up one of the projects that you wanna make at your active project if you're doing an existing one, or just say a new one up here at the top right corner and just type in, I don't know, I'll call this one L, M, N, okay? I'm gonna say okay, create that project, and you're gonna see that I now have my project set for LMN, it's December the 4th, and I'm basically good to go with that active project. I say okay, I open it up, no scans, right? No scans in there yet. So I say that's fine, so I say back, but I know that this is my active project because it's got a little tick over there, okay? So I'm gonna go say back, and now LMN is my project the date that it was active, and then it has all your project information of how much information you have on there. So now what I can do is I can jump over to quick scan, image scan, and start working, and everything I do is gonna be saved into that project. So the next thing I'm gonna show you to set you up for success is your settings. You come over here to settings, and this is where you basically have, a lot of this is self-explanatory. I'm not gonna go over brightness, volume, date and time, power modes, country. Just know that if you want to set your language, go to country. And if you want to change some of your brightness, sound settings, and your time settings, just use one of these four. They're, they're self-explanatory. No need to go over them. Uh, the info tab is where you find out your serial number of your tool. That's also what uh, the repair team uses, I believe, to just basically make sure that everything's up to date. You're good to go. Uh, and over here, you have your options. This is what I want to go over, your options. When you open your options, depending on the tool you have, you're going to have an option to... Turn your EM sensor on or your quick scan expert on. If you do not have the expert, the uh, PS1000X scan, but you have the PS1000B, you actually won't even have an option to press the options button. Okay, but options is where if you want to scan and you want to have your EM sensor on, which is your electromagnetic egg sensor, the one that detects electricity, you have to have it on here to be able to see it on the scan after you scan. It does use battery power when you use it, so just keep be aware of that. And then quick scan expert, I usually keep this off. But I'll have another video on what QuickScan Expert is. It just is a way that you can see the hyperbolas of your radar going over the devices a little bit better. So that is how you set yourself up for success. You have your projects, you have your settings, and uh, as you go, you just save your information. Now, one last thing. After you do a couple scans, let me open up another project here. After you do a couple scans, you can always come back into the scans you've done and you can edit them or delete them. Because they, they always come up with these weird names like this. They're like serial numbers, right? So what I can do is I can go to edit. And this is where I can come in here and actually just change the name of the scan to whatever I want it to be, right? So I can backspace all this and call it uh, A, B, right? And I'll say, okay. So I just want to show you that that is something you can do uh, after you do a scan. Again, just trying to set you up so that you can easily track your work and then you're good to go.